Yesterday, when Tesla CEO Elon Musk was speaking at the Axel Springer Award in Germany in Berlin, in an interview with Axel Springer CEO Matthias Dofner, he, among other things, he also talked about uh, Level 5 full autonomy for 2021. If you know, guys, Level 5 is the level of self-driving where there is no uh, in, uh, intervention required from the driver. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Joey Klender has some details of that interview from TeslaRadi.com. Tesla CEO Elon Musk believes that his all-electric uh, automakers um, that uh, will have the ability to release a full autonomous functionality in some jurisdictions next year. What? some jurisdictions mean it would be a huge development for not only tesla but the future of autonomous self-driving as a whole musk was accepting as i said access springer award in germany yesterday where he held a q a session with ceo matthias dofner that covered a wide variety of different topics from automotive to space exploration it's a very interesting interview if you haven't watched please uh, watch it you can go to their youtube channel and watch it there uh, i've started i I have already covered some aspects of it in my in our video channel uh, youtube channel here in fact what the interest one of the interesting things was that elon musk revealed that he was sleeping in the conference room of tesla giga berlin in the in a factory which hasn't been even built to have a better feel of what's going on there so during the conversation during that chat uh, which was recorded and uploaded like i said on youtube tesla ceo elon musk was asked about tesla's potential to develop a fully autonomous vehicle for customers, for people who buy cars. Musk's answer revealed that he believes Tesla can do it next year and that the customer base could see it in their cars in 2021. This means level five autonomous driving in some jurisdictions, and I don't know what some jurisdictions means, in 2021, next year. Does this mean we will forget driving next year? We will have to give up driving next year? And I have a question before I go any further. Uh, guys, do you want to give up your driving or do you enjoy it? So let's talk about that in the comment section below, please. So Musk's exact answer was this, quote, I'm extremely confident of achieving full autonomy and releasing it to the Tesla customer base next year. But I think at least some jurisdictions are going to allow full self-driving next year. So that was the end of the quote. As of now, Joey Klender notes that Tesla's current full self-driving and autopilot functionalities are not allowed everywhere in the world. One of the most widely recognized areas where the self-driving characteristic hasn't gained full regulatory approval is Europe. The European Union has uh, stopped or halted many full self-driving suite features from being released to drivers. More than 50 countries, including Japan, South Korea, and the European Union member states agreed to common regulations that can take over some driving functions in June. However, complete self-driving functionalities are still not permitted, Tex Explorer reported earlier. Elon Musk has even said himself that Tesla would slowly roll out full self-driving and autopilot features in foreign markets and that they would not be available until it had figured out a way to standardize traffic laws with full self-driving software. Musk once explained that it was important for Tesla to get the software absolutely right before rolling it out. Otherwise, you know, it will be a nightmare, most likely because any major malfunction or error in full self-driving's ability to maneuver traffic could set back the company several years in terms of developing and technology. Imagine the lawsuits and, you know, and the people's lives in line if something goes wrong. But this isn't stopping some places in the United States from making great strides in terms of uh, autonomous driving regulations. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, 29 U.S 
US states have already enacted legislation that would allow autonomous vehicles to perform duties related to self-driving. Governors in 11 states have issued executive orders related to autonomous uh, vehicles. In 29 states, uh, states in Alabama, Arkansas, actually the 29 states are Alabama. See if your state is here. Alabama, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Michigan, Mississippi, Nebraska, New York, Nevada, New York, Nevada, North Carolina, North Dakota, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Vermont, Washington, and Wisconsin, and Washington, D.C., the NCSL says. If your state was not there, please let us know in the comment section below. So Tesla is certainly not the only company to consider self-driving technology as a part of its future development. General Motors, Joey Klender reports, has its own version called Super Cruise, which has gained traction for enhancing uh, driver safety. Uh, make no mistake, but Joey Klender says in Tesla Radi, Musk has no intention of people never driving cars after full self-driving is perfected. During the presentation, he made it clear that commuting to work and operating in frustrating conditions such as gridlock traffic would likely be the most advantageous times to use a self-driving cars. So now as self-driving is kind of getting new strides and Tesla's full self-driving is in beta, we're learning that um, Elon Musk says Tesla full self-driving beta will expand uh, uh, within a week or so. Uh, it was a couple of days ago that he tweeted, to be exact, it was November 27th, and he said will extend in two weeks, and more Tesla drivers could soon be sharing what's and all videos of full self-driving in action on public streets. I said videos because right now those people, a small group of people, I don't know, maybe hundreds or so, um, who are in the full self-driving beta test by Tesla uh, are sharing their videos and they're very cool. They give very nice idea of what Tesla's full self-driving beta test can do. And soon we probably will see more videos coming because uh, uh, more people will be allowed to do. And I heard that it's even will be coming to Canada. I'm not sure about that yet, but I think I read somewhere. So a little over a month after releasing Tesla Autopilot's full self-driving to a small group of select drivers, Tesla is gearing up for a wider release of the software, according to the company CEO Elon Musk. Tesla has so far only released the full self-driving update to expert and careful drivers. Expert and careful is a quote, drivers. And uh, so um, uh, a wider release creates the scary prospect of more Tesla owners um, experimenting, uh, uh, more Tesla owners experimenting with the future on city streets. Autopilot has enabled lane changes on clearly marked highways, but full self-driving is different. It's far beyond that. Full self-driving allows drivers to automatically handle city streets, traffic lights, roundabouts, and street turns. I even have seen a video in which full self-driving did a, uh, something close to what is uh, known as U-turn. Yeah, full self-driving also offers assisted parking, the summon feature for parking lots, highway driving assistance, but the future does not make a Tesla an autonomous car. Responding to a question on Twitter about the a wider full self-driving beta, Elon Musk said it would probably roll out in about two weeks. Now, on um, December 27, uh, uh, then Berkland asked Elon Musk, can we get the uh, FSD beta in Minnesota? Roads are dry and I'm happy to put it through its paces on our interesting uh, roads. 
and uh, to which he responded saying fp16 with least important digit uh, truncated is what we are betting on for training with dojo that means they're working on uh, with with that and early fsd beta testers have been in awe of the technology when it works and they have been sharing their uh, videos with excitement on especially on twitter and some on youtube but some users have shared video of situations where they have had to quickly grab the wheel when the software doesn't correctly handle a street corner and but over the time it's improving and tesla has been releasing new software updates and almost weekly they things change and sometimes even they said daily things are improving in the same intersection when their car is going requiring fewer amounts of human uh, intervention so let me know friends what you think about full self-driving and uh, level five autonomy about which tesla ceo elon musk said um, about 2021 and let me remind that again he said i'm extremely confident of achieving full autonomy and releasing it to the tesla customer base next year meaning in 2021 but i think at least some jurisdictions are going to allow full self-driving next year so this is armin haryan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news please like this video if it was helpful it helps us tremendously and uh, i hope to see you in our next report um, god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and see you soon